hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel as this is going to be a video slightly different compared to my previous videos as i did say in the update video i'm in captain or grampton captain captain park or captain creek or something like that um I'm with Doug, he's all the way down that side. He's teaching someone and it looks like it's gonna be a very good sunset down here. I'll show you the creek. Not a bad environment. Yeah, so the creek is pretty cool though, isn't it? Yeah, this is um, for my main man, Seb. This is his style video where we will be collaborating. Eventually, we will be collaborating on a video like a landscape, street photographer does landscape. I got the Leica M11, I talked about it in the update video, uh, with a 28 Voigtlander lens, shooting that. I'm not using a tripod, because I don't really like using tripods. I like to do everything handheld. But yeah, I got um black Pro Mist filter on here. Yeah, well, I'm just gonna introduce you to Doug over that side. He's teaching, I don't wanna get too much involved in it, so. Hopefully, fingers crossed, there's some good light and I get some colours. Might switch to a 50, I don't know yet. So, we'll see how it goes. Yeah, that sun's coming out now, isn't it? In a way. It's going to be nice, isn't it? So, straight away. But he's going to get it in a good position, Doug. <laughs> anyway, yeah. you're going to get the shot of the day, I think. Compared to me, anyway. This is really nice. I'll probably get I get lower and shoot down with that in the foreground. I'm not liking this. Just because of the framing, I'm trying to get the right framing. This is good. This is good. I need the foreground. That sky's dramatic, but it's good light. Yeah. Sorry, manual in. Yeah, you're manual, that's fine. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, now we're going to do that. See, now the sun's just popped out and it's bright because the glare is coming, bouncing off there and straight in, as you can see in my face. But I'm going to shoot this over this side where I'm not directly shooting into the sun. Yeah, this is nice. Moody skies, light. One, two, three. Because I don't want the foreground in focus, really. I'm not focusing on the foreground. Is that creep there? Might have. What I like about it, you can see the rays popping out. Oh, hopefully don't fall in. Actually, the sky is quite nice. Let's try it over that side. Yeah, so I haven't done a video or like something like this for a very long, well, I lie, not like a sunset type landscape type photos for a very long time. It's quite interesting. But that light, the way it's popping over is really nice. Yeah, street photographer doing landscape and I'm hand holding everything. You know what, I'm gonna take a couple of Doug of um pictures of Doug while he's teaching. Ab, yeah. You were canon for years, weren't you? What? You were canon for years. Yeah, I was it uh, yeah. For how long was it? It's like seven, eight years? Huh? Subscribe mode to two second timer. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you've got to remember it. I've got a wedding coming up. 
and all oh. that. First wedding I've done for about four years. Oh. The friends badgered me for it's ages. Precisely. Well, that was why I had to have a tripod. Yeah. That's the only reason I bought the tripod, and it was good for the wedding. But you just got to, with landscape photography, you would have to take multiple shots. I know you see the best ones, but you would have to take multiple shots from different angles. And you could either put it on a tripod and leave it there, but you just want to take, keep taking photos of different view, areas and views. Because the way I find it is that if I just keep it, ooh, see these birds coming in. Oh, this is nice. This is going to be a good one. Some birds coming in. Yeah, they're gone. Probably got no picture out of that. As I was saying, um, shooting that F8, I don't mind if the ISOs are like higher. I know some of these landscape photographers like the clean image. For me, I think with the modern day cameras, you can go higher ISO and not worry too much. I know it's going to be grainy, but if you think about it in film terms, they will be grainy in film. So it's kind of like, do you want it or not? With like the tools these days, you could actually get rid of the noise, if that makes sense. But yeah, it's really cool. Yeah, street photography doing like landscape style photography. I love shooting with a 28 mil. It is my focal length. I just got a 50 in the bag, but I don't think it'll be good. You have to be patient with landscape photography. It's not like shooting on the streets where you're just like, put, put. Oh, this would be good if I get that in the foreground like that, maybe get something in the shot. But I don't know yet until I look at it on the screen. And I don't know why I'm seeing my bum bum. Just taking more vertical shots and all that. Mm, it might be a dull one. Could put it in black and white to be fair. Black and white would be a good shout. Because I do like my black and white, as you probably know. Colour and black and white, you decide. I don't think that sky's coming out. Let's try front. Oh, this is a good one. Oh, shit, this is good. So there's no sky. Um, got some good shots, I'm pleased with it. All I need to do now is um, go into Lightroom and add one of these um, sky replacements, make it look like it was, um, you know, um, sunset properly. Mr. Doug doesn't like it, but we're gonna do it. We're gonna add some artificial intelligence to these images and say, and we're going to add something in this video so it makes it look like we're we're in beautiful sunset absolutely the gorgeous sunset in the world no not really um it is what it is yeah that's it put the camera in the back oh like at m11 28 mil thank you for watching I just let doug finish that i'll introduce you to him properly in another video anyway like comment share and subscribe and i'll catch you in the next video peace